Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. And it seems like only a moment ago that I told you there would be changes in the room. And I feel them. The attribute of those from the other side of the veil is compassion. There are always questions, how do I know who's visiting me? I'm afraid of this or that. And when I channel and I open my mouth, what's going to happen? Do I, do I allow any energy in the universe to pop in? And we say to you, oh, how 3D of you, <laughs> to think that the angels standing around you would ever let that happen. Protection, safety. If it's compassionate energy, it is from God. If it is not, it is from you. <laughs> it's that simple. Do not envision in your mind a plethora of dark energies waiting to pounce upon you, for this is a man made suggestion. You've humanized God so much that you're not even sure when spirit takes your hand. Let tonight change that. To know that wherever you go, you can call it what you wish, but there is an entourage with you. So difficult for me to explain soul fragmentation, for it sounds like a negative thing and it's beautiful. There's always really three of you all the time with you, and it's you. One of them is the higher self, which is you. How do you explain the higher self? What would you think it is? It is you. It is the higher part of you that vibrates higher. It is not above you. It is in you. And that higher vibrating you opens a portal that is a literally a connection and a handshake to spirit. And that's you. And so there's one. There's the conscious mind that you say is human and biological. There's two. How many do you need for a group? You see, there are things about the quantum you that you have barely barely got into, including the field around you, eight meters wide. Amazing, a human being. I want to talk about what is currently happening on the planet, and I would like to give you in this, the first full channeling of 2012, what I would call information that is informative about the energy visiting you now. It is changing. And those who are in the seats in this particular room and will be in the seats in the room tomorrow for my partner will receive the same message. It's one of the few times that I will repeat it. It needs to be repeated. Transcriptions will be taken and many will hear it for those reasons. And old souls will know of the experiences that they are having and will understand more about what is causing them. This is given in love. And there is no fearful thing here. You sit in a safe place. The energy that is being visited upon this earth has been expected. The ancients predicted it, and we have given you recent channelings, even the channeling given in that country, which you would call Peru, about the shift of what we would call the movement of the feathered serpent. There is an actual shift of polarity between the male and the female energy of the planet occurring. The northern hemisphere, which has always been masculine heavy, is changing. The southern hemisphere, 
which has not been biased in that way, is changing. The wisdom of the ancients in the southern hemisphere is beginning to replace the wisdom of the ancients in the north. And you're starting to see a softer human being. Spiritually, the old souls are alerted to this shift and are beginning biological changes. You expected it, and it's here. The process is one that is felt by the entire planet. Those disruptions you see in countries right now who have not had disruptions for hundreds of years are a result of this change. But this is what takes place when humanity begins to have more compassion, when they wish to unify more than separate. And new thoughts start to occur. The new consciousness creates new invention, higher science, higher thinking. Solutions to those things which you have called basic human problems. Population explosion, food, water, power generation, all of these things are going to change. There will be new thinking, new thought, new revelation in the next two generations, even some of it in the next 18 years. But a shift is occurring, and I won't tell you who's going to feel it first. It's those in the chairs listening to my voice who have been on this planet so many times that they are used to the old energy. Old soul, you're starting to remember. You're starting to remember what it used to be like and what it can be like. Old soul, you are beginning to recalibrate. And this is cellular change in 3D. These energy shifts we speak of, this is not new age esoteric magic. You're going to see it in governments, in science. You're going to see it all over the planet as it begins to shift away from what anyone expected slowly. I've said it before, there'll be countries that have been in isolation for years that open their gates. Better take some pictures now because it'll never be the same. And they'll join the rest of you and their children will meet your children and you'll realize you have things in common and not what you've been told. The recalibration of the old soul is the subject of this and tomorrow's channel. And the channels will be similar. It is not a continuation. You don't need part A and part B. <laughs> I'll give you everything today and everything tomorrow. I want you to know what you can expect and what some of you are already working. Recalibration. Your biology has to shift. It has to absorb and work with and be part of a softer energy. And if it's going to do that, there is a recalibration. Those who have studied the lattice, those who've studied the energies around things that are not called the lattice, but which are, <laughs> know of calibration. And you know of the energies of balance that are required for a human to start changing themselves. You know about that which is body rejuvenation, mentioned even this day, of how cells divide and how every single kind of cell in your body, including brain and heart and skin, duplicate. They are designed to regenerate and if they're lost they're designed to regenerate and if they're damaged they're designed to regenerate. Oh I say it again human don't you find it odd that the starfish can grow back a limb and you can't. 
Don't you think that's odd? That a disease can start to change how a human thinks. And the scientist will tell you that their brain cells are starting to die or move or, or change or be poisoned. And they lose the memory of love. That's not how it's designed. Cells are designed to go back to the blueprint and create a new fresh cell. That's how it's designed. And your science is going to see that. And your spiritual bodies are going to see that. And the ones who sit in the chair have got to recalibrate. The recalibration is automatic. You don't have to ask for it. Let me repeat that. It's going to happen because you're an old soul, because that's why you're here. You don't have to ask for it. But the recalibration is what you expected and what you're remembering. But not, maybe not what you expect. <laughs> For it's uncomfortable. Now, some of you will know where this is going. When we start giving you the attributes that I would say are less than positive, that some of you will experience in recalibration. Now, this is some of you, not all. Every single human being has their own unique path. So they will experience it in their own way. So this is not a generic list of what is going to happen to old souls. These are potentials given of many symptoms of recalibration to the old soul who is here and ready to move forward on this planet. Some of you will have dizziness. It's an attribute of recalibration. That's all it is. And it will pass. But it's worrisome. For those who will become dizzy will also become disoriented. And that might even cause a fall. So what do you do with this knowledge? Number one, you know you're not catching a disease. Number two, walk more careful. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? There are other things. You're going to have trouble sleeping. More trouble than you always have had. <laughs> you're not going to have one awakening. You're going to have two. And here you are. Now some of you know what's going on. It's recalibration. And the first question the human asks is, how long will this occur? <laughs> and the answer is, as long as it takes, oh dense one. <laughs> <clears throat> I think you get the idea. The recalibration will take place as long as it takes. And if you fight it, worse if you drug yourself against it, it's just going to keep happening. Celebrate it. And move forward with it. Tell your cellular structure you understand and move with it, not against it. This will quicken it and it will pass even sooner. Every single biology in the room is different. And now we bring up something that we have not brought up for some time, but you need to hear it. What works for you in health is based almost completely and totally upon your Akashic record. Where did you spend the most lifetimes? Perhaps it's in the Orient. Perhaps it's in India or Tibet. Perhaps it's in the southern hemisphere. And each of those places and cultures will have had different food that worked to keep you healthy. And here you are in the northern hemisphere in this lifetime, perhaps one in the past and the one even in the past, where you tend to inherit yourselves in karmic groups. But you are still influenced by the kind of diet that you used to have. And so then there will be vegans. And it will work for those who need that for their akash. Do you understand? There are others who are not, who come mainly from North America, from Europe, who never had those diets. And they will have any trouble at all. There is no one generic answer of what you should eat. 
There are no shoulds. What you do is intuitively go inside and find out what it is that is the most healthy thing to your body. Now why do I mention this? Because you're going to get advice from people on what to eat to correct what's wrong with you. And I'm going to tell you right now, ignore them. And instead go inside and let your Akashic record tell you what is going to work for you. Don't be surprised if some of you come up allergic to some things you've always eaten. And it'll be a first and I will tell you it's recalibrating. It may be necessary for you to move forward. For you to mine that part of your Akash which had the most wisdom, shaman. And you may not like some processed food. Because you're not used to it in the Akash, are you? Do you see what I'm saying? If you're going to pull that up, if you're going to pull the shamanic energy up from the depths of the wisdom that you have learned and walked through over and over, some things are going to come with it and you're going to deal with them. And part of it is diet. Hmm? Expect these things. They're there for you to see and see them for what they are. Dear Spirit, you might say, thank you for this recalibration, for caring enough about me to know that this is where I want to go and what I want to do. Human being, how you recalibrate now, you will come back in the next life. You won't have to go through it again. There is something called Akashic inheritance. Who you are is not simply the geneal genealogy of the beings you've come from. You know this. There is an inherited Akash. And so you come in with those things that you've experienced in all the lifetimes regardless of the parents. And there are sometimes the heaviest things that you have to deal with. And the ones in the chairs listening to my voice are beginning to deal with them. And that is the other thing. Expect these things to come forward. Maybe you haven't done very well with a life lesson the last few times. And this one you better. Because the earth needs you. And it doesn't need you encumbered with fear. It needs you to say to yourselves, I accept this recalibration. No matter what is in my body at this moment, it can be gone. If it's inappropriate, it should be gone. I stand as a piece of divinity on this planet. Wise, appropriate, I belong here, this is my time. Cellular structure, listen. If there's anything inappropriate, it should be gone. Let it wash away with the waste. Let it go out because it is not seen as appropriate, it is not commensurate to the energy of the love of God. Let only compassionate things enter my consciousness. And that's going to be hard for some of you. So now let's look at those things which you can expect physically, it will not be as hard. Number one, you are going to be able to deal with even the worst habits that you have ever had in your life and get rid of them very quickly. It is a new energy of cooperation with the energy of the light worker. Did you get that? Oh, let us pause, please. And take just a moment for a deep breath. For I am dealing with those listening to my voice who have gone through thousands of years of prosecution, persecution, suffering, torture. There are those who have been burned at the stake. And this is because the energy that you brought into the earth was not beginning to match at all what the earth was. Holy men and women ask to heal somebody one moment and then go to the edge of the village and jump off a cliff the next. And you're here. And you've come back. 
Now suddenly this planet is starting to move so that all of the things that you have brought to this planet in experience start to cooperate. Oh, take a deep breath. For manifestation begins. Not immediately, not today, not this hour, but so slowly. This quantum clock starts to move in your direction. The earth is receiving a more gentle, passionate energy. That is what you were born with. That's the tool that you have. And in the past this has been seen as odd and strange. You've been ostracized. Some of you have been cast out of your family. I know who's here. And I'm telling you that even they may look at you differently. And see how you've started to become softer. Not even knowing it's them. <laughs> Things are going to work. You have a habit you'd like to break. Is it the way you think? Is it the way you eat? Is it what you put into your body? Is it what you smoke? Is it killing you? And you know it. And you know who I'm talking to. Would you like to change it? And now I will tell you that what you do in this energy is going to respond so differently, even if you tried it before. Not one of you is allowed to say, old soul, wise one. You're not allowed to say, I tried that and it didn't work. That will be a child talking who doesn't know how things work. Instead, you're going to say, this time, hmm, I know better. I will manifest it because the body is listening. And that's what the new energy brings. Cooperation. Things are going to go better and flow better. They're going to move forward instead of back. When you put out the word of what you wish to have in your life and the process begins, many of you are going to start seeing a positive return right away. Synchronicity is the key. Put yourself in places to have those things take place. Do not try to manifest something and then go into the closet and wait for it. Instead, put yourself in places where you would expect it to manifest. Do you understand? And that is where the answers will be because there are others walking around with your solution. They're looking for you. Don't sequester. And in a recalibration mode, there's a tendency to sequester <laughs> because you don't feel quite right. You're going to catch more colds. Why would that be? And then you're going to heal them quick. And why would that be? It has always been a recalibration of the biological process to catch a cold. And that is why you cannot cure it. <laughs> it is a cyclical opportunity for the immune system to correct itself. Perhaps you didn't know that. That's why you will not receive, you're not going to receive the, the biology to cure the common cold. It is a recalibrating device. You need to go there and to build up the system in a certain way. And there's many of these kinds of things. Well, one of them right now is about recalibrating. Don't be shocked when you catch one. And you'll say, well, I didn't think that would happen because I just got through with the other one. <laughs> it's recalibration. These are the kinds of things we wanted to bring to you so that you will know what is taking place and not fear it. So many things there, there are many positive things. This truly is an energy that is occurring that is turning the corner that supports the light worker.
but actually supports the light worker. There is no more upstream swim. Now all of you are different, but I know who you are. Commitment is the key. You cannot do any of these things casually. But you knew that, didn't you? That when you commit to the manifestation of what you need in your life, the universe is listening. When you receive messages from my side of the veil, I will tell you something that you already may know. We do not have a clock. So I speak to you in the now. I see the energy in the room. I see who is here. I see the old soul. I speak to you in the now. Now that's up to you what your clock does. And how long it takes in your reality. In my reality, it's already done. Can you see that way? Can you walk out of here with it already done? There's energy in this room that is infusing itself right now into the places it needs to go. Spiritually, what can you expect? This recalibration is about being able to stay on this planet in health and in happiness without drama or fear. And that is what the old soul remembers. My partner in his ignorance, standing there and saying he has no idea why there are self-worth issues with old souls. I'll tell you why. Because for hundreds of years you've been beat up. And every time you move two steps forward, you're beat back one. Sometimes five. And you come into this life expecting what? Very little. For some of you even start a project, you have the, the little voice that says, Oh, I knew that would happen. Hmm. You don't expect much, do you? And that's because in an older energy, everything you did was met with resistance. Everything. Every time you wanted to make a positive suggestion about something that might help get lost. Hmm? Every time you saw spiritual wisdom in a complicated problem, they weren't interested. Until the time when you realized you were isolated over and over and over and over and over. And now we are saying this is changing. So spiritually you are going to have to love yourself more. And that is your opportunity because there is a universe inside of you called cellular structure with trillions of pieces of DNA all ready for your instruction sets to be given. And their hand is out, you might say, and they're saying, okay, you're the boss. Well, what are we going to do? Self-worth is a program. It's a program. It's information developed from experience. And it's information and it's a program. And you can unprogram it. All you have to do is tell yourself what you want. Dear cellular structure, you might say, I deserve to be here. This is my time. I have things that others want. This is my time. I am important in the scheme of the earth. I have earned my stripes. This is my time. Dear cellular structure, get rid of inappropriate emotional issues that keep me from moving forward into my beauty and power. And the power that I speak of is that ability to create compassion and light 
everywhere I go. Recalibration. It's going to have that which is challenging and that which is beautiful. What's it going to be feeling like to you to suddenly become more enlightened, have more information, feel you're much more part of God with a cold? <laughs> Falling over sometimes. <laughs> and you have to laugh. <laughs> Biology is this way. It takes a while for the shift. And so months, perhaps more, while you deal with the issues and you deal with them, you know what they are. And you know why they are. And at the same time you're sitting and celebrating that which is in you which is more compassionate that starts to work around your life. Things are going to work better. Now that is assuming you get this message and want them to for the human being is king when it comes to creation that is to say your free will is what's going to happen. If you ignore the message very little will happen. You're still an old soul and you have free choice. Finally I give you one of the common questions about this recalibration. The earth energy cryon you say is shifting that means all humanity is going to feel it. Yes. All humanity will feel it. And you're going to see it in the way governments come down and are formed. You're going to see it in different thinking. You're going to see it in the ways my partner has told you are possible that I have channeled thinking differently. Old energy regimes not renewing themselves but deciding to change. Cooperation and unity over the next two generations starting to become the norm a time where you will look back on today and say we were barbarians. That's a change. I am on my side of the veil in the now. I have no clock to give you here. I am just telling you this is what I see. I see a healed planet eventually with new science. I see a planet where there is no permanent disease where clean water is never an issue, where all have electricity and it's easy and it's inexpensive, where you can heat your homes easily. These are all of the things that are in the, the strongest potentials and I cannot give you a clock. What I can tell you is that earth recalibrates itself and there are going to be issues some of them political, some worse, in the recalibration program. And the earth will feel it now. Will everyone become enlightened? <laughs> no. You represent less than one half of one percent of the human population, old souls, and you are going to strike the match. And we've told you this before. You become the match bearer in the dark when a few light all can see. That's your job. Only it just got easier. I speak in the now. I cannot give you a clock. Please understand the wisdom of this as you leave the room. See the potential. And if things don't happen tomorrow, human being, in your quick turnaround consciousness, don't be angry. God has patience. You've had patience. Isn't it worth it having lived all these lives? To now come and give this one a chance. There are those in this room who wonder how long they're going to live because of what's going on right now. You know who I'm talking to. So I will tell you the potential that I see is a very long life. And you might say to me, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. And that is the old energy speaking to you. 
recalibrate and start seeing what is possible. Finally this. The more science takes a look at atomic structure in the most small and when they look at the universe in the most large they see a commonality. They're starting to see that there is no randomness. That in the very small and the very large they're looking at intelligent design. And so this means that in these places which you call creation that the very way things came together were biased for life. They're biased for compassion. It is the handiwork of God. And as you turn inward and start to deal with yourselves, I want you to see the same thing. It's about time you understand you are not random. Your life is not random. Things don't happen to you random. They happen to you in a way that you create. And that is the lesson of all humanity eventually to create a healed earth to create a peaceful one to go places you never dreamed you would go this is the beginning I have no clock but I have potentials and that is what I give you and that is what my partner sits in the chair and gives you the potentials that we see grander than they were last year if the light workers will recalibrate easily, don't fight it. So you leave this place and life returns to normal. And the routine is the routine. And you might look back upon these few minutes we've had together and say, I wish I could do those things, never realizing that you are. What happens in a multi-dimensional state has to do with consciousness out of time and space. Just walking on the planet, holding the light, creates energy that you did not know you had. That's why we want you to stay in health without drama or fear. So assign a goal if you wish because humans love to do that <laughs> but let me tell you this there are many of you already achieving it just by being alive and having compassion for others around you some of you in the room are teachers some are channelers some are healers some are not interested and I know who they are as well and they will have just as many angels walk out with them as you do. There is no judgment here. We stand on a precipice of potential that I came here for. That's why Cryon is here to help you across this bridge. Congratulations for making it this far. The old energy will fight back. Expect it and expect to win. Hmm. And you will. And you will. For now, in 2012, is the beginning of you having the upper hand. And that is it. And so it is.